Take a look at shares of Levi Strauss, initially higher after its earnings last night, beating expectations on the top and bottom lines. The stock, though, reversed course earlier today and is now rebounding, but still lower. Joining me here at Post 9 is today's closer, Levi Strauss CEO Chip Berg. Welcome. Nice to see you. The only person who's allowed to wear jeans to the stock exchange here. No, they changed the rules just oh, for they? us. Yeah. Just for they, the day. They took, no, no, no. They took the sign down. Oh, totally. Yeah, the sign listening. is no longer at the door. Did not know that. So, yeah. It may come in in jeans tomorrow. That's right. You, you've got to be frustrated with the market reaction after putting up a quarter like this. Well, we're in it for the long haul. And, you know, we've got a ton of confidence in the business. We had a very, very strong quarter. It's our first quarter, so the year is off to a good start. Um, a lot of headwinds, a lot of uncertainty out there, but we, you know, we beat our own internal expectations. We also beat consensus across the board on every metric. And we maintain guidance despite all of the challenges and headwinds that we're facing. Supply chain. Supply costs. chain, Russia, you know, uh, there are a number of, and inflation, just cost inflation Is in general. Is all that general. getting worse, better, the same? Well, um, let's just say that there's still quite a bit of uncertainty, but this company has a track record of navigating through the uncertainty really, really well. Um, when we gave guidance at the beginning of the fiscal year, the war wasn't happening in Ukraine. Um, we've seen costs get, you know, a little bit more challenging over the last couple of months. Cotton is continuing to go up. And, uh, and you know, the macro picture is a little bit more uncertain today than it was three months ago. But despite all of those challenges, we've held our guidance, in part because of the strength of our brand. I mean, the Levi's brand today I've been saying for probably two years that the brand has never been stronger. I think I can say confidently now the brand is the strongest that it has ever been. And you see that in our gross margins, record gross margins of 59.4 percent. And it's because pricing is sticking. So will you continue to raise prices? We have more price increases baked into our plan. Um, we don't have our head in the sand. We're watching the consumer very closely. But the consumer is robust right now here in the U.S., Demand is very strong on a global basis. We've got a big global footprint, and our business is healthy across all regions of the world. Um, so we've got confidence that we can continue to take prices if needed to offset continued cost pressure. Your stock took a hit, and a lot of the retail stocks took a hit today after the Macy's CFO, you can blame him, uh, made some comments at a J.P. Morgan conference where you were suggesting maybe at the lower end of the income scale, consumers might opt for spending on travel and, and vacations and services instead of at department stores on clothing. Have you seen anything like that? No, and in fact, MasterCard released data today that suggests, and they said in their release, that the consumer is still very robust, very healthy here in the U.S. We haven't seen any evidence of any softening of demand here in the U.S. And in fact, we were in our uh, New York sales office yesterday and I was talking with a couple of the sales folks, and demand remains really, really strong. And I think it gets back to the point that Levi's is such a strong brand. Um, we're not seeing our open-to-buy budgets getting cut by our key customers. We're seeing demand in our own store being very, very robust. The brand is hot, and um, consumers are willing to pay higher prices. Um, our business was up 22% this last quarter. Half of that was through pricing. The other half was through unit growth. So demand is not abating, despite the fact that we've been successful passing along pricing.